hello hello everyone welcome back to my channel and to what is another plan with me video this week we're going to be planning out the week of january 9th through to january 15th and i am using what is a rather old uh, planner face kit <laughs> um yet again <laughs> i am i've had this kit for a little while now i've actually had it in my collection i've moved it in, I've moved it out, I've had it in kit lineups before, I've had it in different seasons, it has moved all over the place and I have just never committed to actually using it. When I actually first got it, I had it stored with my like autumn kits and I thought that that worked because when I first looked at it, the colorway to me was very autumn, I guess, I don't know, the oranges, the reds, the yellow, um, now when I look at it, I just think of like starburst lollies, <laughs> which is interesting. Um, the whole time I was planning with this kit, I just like, I literally just wanted starburst lollies because that's what the color reminds me of. Like you open a packet of starburst and you have the pink ones, yellow, orange, red, yellow and orange are terrible. Pink and red are the best. Um, but yeah, that's what I thought of whilst using this kit. I don't know how we got from like, hi, hello, welcome to my plan with me video to Starburst Lollies, but we did. Um, but yes, as I said, the kit has made its way in and out of my lineup many times. And <laughs> thankfully, I got to finally use it. Now, of course, if you have watched my January kit lineup, you will know that this kit was not in my January lineup. So... Out of the, was it four kits I showed or five kits? Five? I don't know. But out of all of the kits that I showed you, I only used two. So, I mean, the reason for that is mainly because things changed. I had different plans. Um, I think one of the kits that I had in my lineup was like an ice cream kit. Um, and I wanted to use that to like... I don't know, go mark that it was summer and that we got some ice cream or something. Um, and then another one of the kits was like a Sicilian themed kit and it was very like go out to dinner or go and have cocktails with the girls, that sort of thing. Um, and even though I really love those kits, when I kind of looked at them, and as I said to you guys previously, I really want to be conscious of what kits I'm using when this year. Like I want to be able to look back at a kit and at a glance, straight away go, oh, that was the week I went to the beach. Or, oh, that was the week that I went to a concert or that kind of thing. So when it came time to actually planning out this week, I decided that the kit I'd originally had in my lineup didn't work for me anymore. I didn't do anything that would sort of work with that particular kit. So instead, I just pulled it out and I replaced it. So the reason that I decided to use this kit was because this was actually the week that I returned to work. So this was the week where, unfortunately, my Christmas break ended. I had a lovely Christmas break. I had some really chill time. I didn't do much of anything, and it was just a really great time. Um, but unfortunately, all good things must come to an end, and that was the case this week. So this was actually... The perfect kit to mark that because I decided in the end that the kits, the kit colors were very like summery and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to use it. It's an old format. I keep moving it in and out. I haven't used it for the longest time. I don't know if or when I'll use it if I don't use it this year. So I decided that this was what I was going to use. And given that the kit was called Office Goals, I thought it worked appropriately because when you look at the kit, it's actually like it's Office Goals, but it's like Home Office. And we are going on three years of working from home. Um, I do obviously go into the office once a week at this point, at least for now anyway. Um, but given that this was the week that I went back to work and I was still working from home, I was like, perfect, it works. So that is why I decided to use this kit. It is absolutely beautiful, um, like 10 out of 10, the colors, the vibe, the fashion girl in the top left-hand corner there with her like, ombre balayage like pink ends absolutely love it just perfect like if my home office looked like this I would be one happy work from home employee 
I have digressed a little bit. So yes, like I said, this is a planner face kit. I did decide to keep it pretty simple this week. I didn't use any like underlays or bougie boxes. Um, the only real foil that I brought in was some header overlays and that was just to like glitz up my glitter headers a little bit. Um, I didn't put date dots in either. I think that was just because I didn't have anything at the time and I wasn't sure whether I wanted to use like a matching foil date dot or whether I wanted to use like a black and white date dot. Jury is still out on that. I still don't have date dots on this particular week. So we'll see what happens later down the track. Um, but yeah, pretty much everything is planner face. The overlays I bought from a D stash. So unfortunately I can't tell you where I got those. And then as per usual, I do my little like a deco situation up in the top left hand corner with some uh, planner face paint splodges and of course some deco from the kit. Naturally, you guys should know by now. <laughs> I'm hoping you know by now, but if you don't, I do actually PR for planner face. And if you couldn't already tell by like pretty much all of my kits last year and coming into this year, that's what two out of three spreads so far that are planner face kits. And I'm sure many, many more planner face kits to come. Um, I love planner face. Honestly, the quality of her stickers, the fact that you can either get like a removable, removable mat or a premium matte paper. So you can sort of go whichever way suits your budget, whether you prefer to look at a premium matte versus a removable matte, the sheer variety of stickers, the fact that you can get kits, you can get sticker albums that are like super high quality, my absolute favorite. I know that I hear Kat um, from Peace Love Plan. Now I'm questioning if I said that username correctly, but I'll link her below. Um, but I hear her say like whenever she's doing like al album sorting or like referencing her albums, she's always like, these are my favorite albums. You know, they're really strong and sturdy and they're well laminated. Completely 100% agree. All of my sticker kits and bits and pieces are sorted in planner face albums. So when I put in my PR application for planner face, it was genuinely because I wanted to PR for her. I love her products. I spend a lot of money in store because I just obsessed. Um, so if you do want to check out Planner Face or if you haven't tried her stickers before, definitely consider making an order. And to sweeten the deal a little bit, you can use code MELISSA10 to score yourself 10% off your order. And of course, you can place my name in notes to seller to nab my little freebie. Um, but enough with that, let's go ahead and actually get into the weekly plans because you guys know I like to talk, I like get really chatty and I get carried away. Um, but my sidebar, pretty stock standard these days. If I don't have a tour box, I use two full boxes and then I just kind of fit in whatever fits. Um, you will see that I planned a little bit differently with this kit. So the washi, I did decide to use the thick washi. I cut it down just a tiny little bit. And then I used the like thin strip of washi at the top there just to heighten my date headers because I didn't like how much white space was visible um, in the first week that I planned. So I wanted to try and change that up and I thought this was a great idea and it worked really well and I really love how it looks. Um, and then so what I did is with the little sliver that I cut off the bottom washi, I then pulled that into the sidebar as well. Um, but yeah, for my sidebar, I didn't track anything out of the usual. I did, of course, record my YouTube and Instagram statistics, and then I did mark the book that I was reading. So this particular week, I was reading a book called Hunger from the Gone series. I'm in the process of reading that series. There's like seven or eight books or something crazy, and I'm currently on book three now. But this week, I was reading the second book of the series. Um, and that was pretty much it for my sidebar. So let's go ahead and jump on into Monday. As you guys know, I don't actually reference what stickers I've used and when anymore. So if you do have any questions about any of the stickers that I have used, definitely drop it in the comments below and I will be sure to get back to you. But otherwise we kind of just stick to what happened, you know, story times, if relevant, that sort of thing. So, um, so Monday, I decided to try and start being a good girl. I knew that I was going back to work, so I wanted to get into a new routine, you know, the whole new year, new me, like that rubbish. Um, no offense to anyone who like follows that at all, but like I always get in my head that I'm going to be fit and healthy and active and then it dies off after like five minutes. So yeah, no exception this year. 
Um, so on the Monday, I did mark that I did a stretch workout. I got up and I put on a YouTube video and I just literally did a stretch and it was actually really nice. I really enjoyed it. And then after that, I just chilled out. I had my morning coffee. I had my breakfast and I had a little bit of a YouTube binge. And then that afternoon, or after I'd sort of done all of that, I did film some videos and I decided that I would start working on my like decluttering and destashing some of my sticker kits that I was no longer using. So I did actually do a sticker destash on this particular day. And then because I just wanted to chill and I wanted to do something fun, I tend to have these like, especially when it's like a weight. Mm, why can I never talk when I'm recording a voiceover? Anyway, um, <laughs> whenever I have days off that are like a working week, like I know that I have work, I tend to sort of spend my days off umming and ahhing and thinking about things way too much and then I don't do anything and then I just feel miserable. So I decided this day that rather than doing that, I wanted to play Sims. So I played Sims. And then that night, once I was done doing whatever I needed to do on Sims, I didn't do much of anything. Again, I just plonked myself on the couch and I spent some time watching my friends stream on Twitch. On Tuesday, I did get up again and I did another workout. But this day, I focused on a stress and anxiety workout. So it was kind of like a meditation, meditation stretch, like beginner yoga type situation. And then I did do a post box drop. So I walked up to the post box just around the corner from my house to, to send off some of the kits that I had destashed because some people did buy them. Um, so I wanted to get those sent off. When I came home, I did actually do some recording. So I did some Sims video recording because I do have a Sim tube or a Sims YouTube channel. Um, so I did some stuff for that on this day. And then again, that night I hung out in my friend's stream and I decided that because I was going to be working the following day, like Wednesday, sorry, yes, Wednesday was my first day back at work. <laughs> um, I decided to treat myself to a bubble bath and I did a little bit of a face mask. Face mask, my God. Um, <laughs> and then we jump over to Wednesday. So as I mentioned, Wednesday was my first day back at work and I was doing a course. So I actually had to attend a course for two days on my first two days back. It was a longer shift than I would normally work. It was at a yuckier time than I would normally work. And this particular day was so draining and so boring and I didn't know how I was gonna find it relevant. Um, but I had that. Um, and then after I was finished work for the day, I did have a little bit of a nap on the couch with my dog. And unfortunately, Said dog woke up with a bit of a sore tummy, so he was he had a little bit of a runny butt. That was not fun. Um, and then I pretty much the rest of my evening I spent I did some editing, I chilled out on the couch, and I had a little bit of a YouTube binge. So nothing crazy. Thursday I worked again. I was in the course as I mentioned, and then when I finished for the day, I had a waxing appointment. I did another post box drop, so I did have some more stickers to destash and post off, so I did that. And then when I got home from doing that, I did upload my October kit lineup video, which was the last of like the kit lineup, like monthly kits, spreads, whatever you'd like to call them, that I filmed for last year. Um, so that was when I did that. And then I spent the rest of the evening watching my friend stream. Friday, again, of course, we had work. It was a normal work day this day. Um, so kind of just really chill work day, though, because we weren't really back in the swing of things. Not everyone was back at work yet. So it was very much just kind of finishing up, tidying up, decluttering everything from the year before, and then getting prepared for, like, essentially what was the new year that we were already in, if that makes sense. I did have a bit of a headache this day. And a little bit of a low battery. So I did have a bit of a struggle of a day. Um, I don't know what it was. I think it was just adapting to work. Having two days spent in front of a computer screen like all day. Like usually in my regular work role. Like if I need a break. I can sort of get up and stretch. And kind of go and make a coffee. And come back to my desk. But when I was doing the course. It's like scheduled breaks. You have to be switched on the entire time. So I think everything was just catching up with me. And I was a bit tired and headachey And you know. 
Um, so that afternoon I did take a little bit of a nap on the couch and then that night we had Pizza Hut for dinner and we watched Transformers Dark of the Moon. Like I think I've mentioned in my first video of the year, I may have mentioned it the previous video as well, I don't know, I feel like I've mentioned it a couple of times, but um, my husband and I have decided that the best way to pick movies of a weekend is to like watch through a series because there's obviously a couple of them and then we don't have to go through like thinking about what we're going to watch. Um, so at this time we were watching Transformers. Uh, on Saturday I had a headache so I woke up with a headache that was great. I did, I did then head into the shops because I had a nail appointment because I didn't get time to get them done on Thursday. Normally I do my nails the same night that I do my waxing but I just didn't have the time. I then marked that I went to Priceline to pick up a couple of things and then I went to Officeworks. And then when I got home, I did some sticker planning and that night the movie of choice or the movie in the series that we were watching was Transformers Age of Extinction. Great movies, cannot wait for the new one. And then Sunday was just kind of a chill day, so we slept in. It was 33 degrees, which isn't hot in the grand scheme of things, but it was hot enough for me. Um, I've of course marked having my morning coffee. I did film a plan with me video. And then I kind of just like edited, played around with some like YouTube things and then uploaded another episode of one of my Sims series and then pretty much washed my hair and went to bed. I don't think we actually did anything too crazy. No, sorry, I lie. We went to my dad's house. That big box at the bottom there is to mark going to my dad's house because it was actually my dad's birthday the following day but he'd been working really late so it was decided that we would just go to his house on the Sunday. So we went to my dad's house, we got some KFC for dinner and we just hung out and had a really chill night. So that was really lovely. And that brings us to the end of the spread. <laughs> so thank you all so, so, try that again. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps support my channel and I'm hoping to really be consistent this year. So fingers crossed. <laughs> um, just giving you guys a little bit of a foil wiggle now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.